How's it going guys? Welcome back to the Pilot Patriot channel. Today we're going to be talking about building and burying a survival cache. If you don't know what a survival cache is, it's basically just a kit that you build out in some type of weatherproof or waterproof container that contains items that you might need in a survival situation. The basic concept is that you'll hide that cache in an area that only you know about so that if you needed to, if you needed to bug out from your home or something like that, you could hide this on your path so that you could dig it up so you'd have the items you need to get you to safety. Now when you're thinking about a survival cache, there's a few things you need to think about. The first is where you're going to hide it. So ideally you want to make sure it's in a low traffic area so that somebody's not just going to stumble up on it and find it. But you also need to make sure that you're not going to forget where it is later because theoretically it could be months or even years before you get back to this. So you want to make sure you're going to remember where that is. A couple ways you can do that is to find some type of identifying landmark that's going to help you remember exactly where you buried that at. You could also do some things to mark the areas in a way that's not too obvious. So I got my area all picked out. I'm not going to tell you exactly how I found it or what landmarks I'm using to find this spot other than one of the ways I'm going to remember is that it's at the base of this tree right here. Now I have other ways of remembering where this tree is. Now let's go ahead and get in here and talk about the container that we're going to use because I'm I'm really excited to show you guys this container and then we'll talk about the contents and the things that I'm going to put into this kit. But before we do that guys, if you haven't done it yet, make sure you hit that subscribe button down below, hit that notification bell and give us a big old thumbs up. We really appreciate that. Now the container for your survival cache, a lot of people use PVC pipe or ammo cans or things like that and those are great options but I really think what I have here is going to be 10 times better. This is a completely waterproof container with an airtight and waterproof gamma seal lid. And what this actually is, is a Vittles vault. This is designed to hold dog food. This is the 50 pound version. So it's one of the biggest ones they make. It is basically a plastic barrel with a watertight gamma seal lid. Uh, it's just big enough for all the things that I want to put in it. So I think this is going to work out great. Now let's talk about the things that I'm going to put in it. What I see a lot of people do is they'll just throw a lot of random stuff down in the bottom of whatever their container is. Um, some of the common things are water, food, ammo, that kind of stuff. Now what I think a lot of people forget is once you dig this up and you get to those items, how are you going to carry them? So the main thing that I'm gonna have in mind is a go bag. That way all the items that I need are contained inside this bag. All I have to do is pull it out, throw it on my back, and I'm good to go. If you're interested in seeing all the stuff that's in this bag, this is actually my $100 Walmart survival kit. I do have a video on that and I'll put that right here at the top of the screen. Now, of course, a $100 survival kit is not gonna have all the best quality items and stuff. So I have added some more items and some better quality items into the bag. In this bag is gonna be a bunch of survival items, some shelter, a bunch of food, ways to cook that food and things like that. But at the same time, you're going to remember this is getting buried in the ground. So you want to think about items that are going to work to help you get to safety, but you don't want to bury a ton of money in the ground and just leave it. So these are lower cost items, but I still think they're going to do the job for getting me to where I need to go. The other thing that I'm going to have in here is a chest rig, fully loaded with magazines, tourniquet, knife, glow sticks, uh, first aid kit, uh, flex cuffs, pistol mags, um, fully loaded kit. Like I said, same concept as the bag. I don't have to worry about trying to transport a bunch of boxes of ammo. Everything's right here in this chest rig. All I gotta do is pull it out of the kit, throw it on my chest, and I'm good to go. Everything that I have in this cache is gonna be easily just thrown up on my body and I can get out of Dodge very easily without having to worry about how am I gonna carry all this stuff. Then also in the bottom of the container, I'm just going to stuff a bunch of water bottles. Now I do have ways to carry those. I can shove them into the 
uh, bottle holders on the side of the backpack. Uh, most likely I'm going to be with my family, so some of them can grab some water bottles and stuff like that. The reason I don't have them in the bag is because it just made the bag too bulky to fit down into my container. So I'm just going to shove them down at the bottom. They should be just fine. I'm going to have everything wrapped in a contractor bag so I don't have to worry about any of it really getting damaged. And being buried in the ground, I'm not too worried about that water freezing or anything like that either over time. All right, guys. Now, the last thing that I'm going to throw in this bag uh, is something that a lot of you guys may or may not be willing to do. Of course, all the things I'm putting in this kit is for me personally. These are uh, items that I want, that I think I need. Obviously, your kit could be different. If you have better ideas um, or other ideas, please let us know in the comments below. So the final item, an AR-15. As you can see, we have vacuum sealed it. This is an AR-15 pistol, so it fit nicely once it was disassembled. Now that is a very low cost, very bare bones firearm that I built specifically for this purpose. I know that's gonna be a little controversial, but I got it in there. It's what I think I need. I'm willing to do it because it was pretty low cost. So there we go. And of course, along with that, because I wanna be able to throw everything on my body and go, I'm also gonna have a sling in there to carry that. So let's get a hole dug here. We'll get this buried in the ground. And I'll show you exactly how we're gonna do that. All right, guys, now as you can see there, I didn't go super deep. I went just deep enough to cover it with a couple inches of dirt. Now, even though it is a waterproof seal on that container, you could see I did put some flashing tape around the lid just to be extra sure. And then I wrapped everything in a contractor trash bag and then put another contractor trash bag on top before I backfilled the hole. So hopefully this thing will be nice and waterproof. A couple things you should know that I also did, you might not have seen. Um, I brushed all the pine needles and leaves over to the side so that I could use them to cover the area back up and hide it when I was done. Um, I also had another contractor bag over here to the side that I was putting all my dirt in uh, because you are gonna have to have somewhere to put all that extra dirt from the hole. So I just put it on a contractor bag and I'm gonna take it out of here with me and just kind of spread it out somewhere else. 
out so you don't leave just a mound of bare dirt behind it. Uh, you want to do anything you can to hide this so that nobody else is going to find it. Now, uh, just as an extra measure to help me remember where it is, I did put a nice big rock here on top that's going to protect it, but it's also going to help me remember where it is. Uh, now, there are several rocks like this around in the area, so um, I don't think it's going to look weird. Um, I also covered that with the pine needles and stuff too, so it's very well hidden, I think. You guys probably can't even tell that anything was disturbed here, and hopefully nobody else will either, especially after a month or two. All sign of me being out here will be gone. But that's it for our survival cache video guys hopefully this video helped you out if you have any suggestions or anything that i could have done different please let me know in the comment section below if you haven't done it yet guys hit that subscribe button hit that notification bell and give us a big old thumbs up that really helps us out thanks for watching guys please like share and subscribe stay prepared